Hello everyone, uh, this is the part 3 tutorial on how to install XAMPP on your Mac OS X line uh, connect the database up to uh, Dreamweaver and this final uh, tutorial is how to drag or pull some of that uh, information off your database so um, we started by checking that our uh, server is connected up we open up Dreamweaver and if you remember from previous tutorial uh, I made a test PHP and in my database if I open this up and in my database tab I have my connection uh, where I have connected up to a test database where we have table one as a test. So what I will do is go into my localhost like so, go into test one and I want to insert Here I want to insert uh, two new values uh, called this is more text Hello. and this is the last text like so go for that. So we'll go back to our table, now we've got three um, text here, yeah. this is some text, this is more text, this is the last text. The order doesn't really matter as long as the ID fits, so right, so we just put some more information in our database and we can see this now automatically by right clicking on table 1 and view data so you can see that we've got the updated information in Dreamweaver great so what we need to do now is close this down, close that down is we need to go to bindings and we need to make a record set now this record set I'm going to call record set test and it will be using my connection the data paste that I want is table 1 and I'm just going to concentrate on text so we go here and you can filter text begins with contains all that sort of stuff cookies, servers but for this uh, for this tutorial, I'm just going to say none here. So I can test this, and as you can see, you've got the record one, two, three, and it comes out with this is some text, this is the last text, this is more text. Okay. So we say okay to this, and now it's created a record set as such, and the PHP is put in. We don't have to write a single word of PHP. And if we go to our live view, yes to all, needs to be saved. There you can see there's got nothing in there yet. So I can just to put something in there, say um, h1, uh, yeah, like this, and say, uh, data pull, just to have something put in there. So that's in our live view. Just taking my view off, like you want it. So, so now we've got the record set, and if we take our live view off, we can go here and mark wherever you want to put your text. I want to put my text here, and you basically drag and drop your information in present. So now if I go into my live view, 
this is some text and it's just pulled out the uh, information but this is just taking up the first uh, line I've said that I wanted everything called text so what we need to do is go back to our code view and then we need to go into server behaviors we need to mark our uh, code and then we need to say uh, add a repeat region and I'm just going to say mark it 10 times like so save that and then when I go back to live view hold on a minute that's because the body yeah. there you go this is some text, this is the last text, this is more text. And the reason it's done that is because we need to put an enter here. Like so. So we'll go back to live view again. You can see that now it's got its own line. And you can go in and you can uh, edit each of these in its own uh, CSS, but that is just some. Uh, this is just a quick tutorial on how to pull data out of your database, and uh, that's about it. So, thanks for watching and good coding. <laughs>